Here's my end of year review of the yuccas growing on our property. This is yucca filata. Been in the ground just for about a month. This here is a yucca gloriosa variegata. We just transplanted this from the front garden. It is three years old and has uh, about four inches of trunk. I think it should be happy here. This here is the remnants of our yucca filamentosa. It's uh, actually got quite a few shoots. We checked underground and uh, there's about five or six shoots. It will come back great next spring. Doesn't look like much. Doesn't like being transplanted in the middle of summer, apparently. Here is our trunking yucca glauca, which was a transplant four years ago from Hamilton. It is now working on two heads. There's one head here and another over here, there, and there. And it has a baby, which is not much of a baby, it's pretty big. That's the trunking glauca. On to the next yucca is yucca elata. It is a double elata. I guess in the pot there was two seeds that grew side by side. and. Uh, being right under the Musa Baju, it gets quite wet, so it grows a bit slower than it should. Yucca guatemalensis has a yearly dieback, full dieback, but it always grows to be about four inches tall by the end of the summer. Yucca rostrata, doing much better. It's a double head. This is its newer head after having a bad winter two years ago, and this is its first head, which is starting to finally do okay. It's got a small trunk, maybe about two inches, on its original head. I think it's going to do better this year with a little bit of snow protection. This is supposed to be Yucca alifolia. I don't know what it is because it's sure not very stiff leaf. It may be a maybe a flacida that uh, that somehow got into the alifolia seeds. We'll see depending on how stiff they, they get to be because it's not very stiff. This is a very sad yucca regida, um, which was an offset that I saved from the apparent plant that did die. I, uh, I hope it makes it, but uh, it's very marginal in our area. It probably will die. Yucca alifolia variegata. This is the parent plant. It's very happy here. It's got some size to it. This is our Yucca brevifolia, the Joshua tree, very stiff leaves. It's been out here for two years. Last year we had glass over top of it, and uh, this year we're going to do something similar for winter protection. Yucca Thompsoniana, it has, I believe it's got three heads here, and so it just really wants to form multiple heads. Its leaf is nearly as stiff, ow, nearly as stiff as the Joshua tree, but uh, not quite as much. Yucca torii. Um, it has been growing so very slowly. Um, it's got some pretty stiff leaves too. It's been out here since April or May. Yucca shati. Um, it's actually been a very vigorous grower in the pot and then here in the garden a little bit slower. It's actually quite dry this close to the house. We have our Yucca constricta hybrid. I think it's a stricta glauca. Um, it's hard to say, but it's very beautiful. It's only two years old, and it's been in this position only for this year. We have yucca palita. This is a clump. A uh, whole bunch of seeds I threw into a pot and is doing great here. Yucca palita is one of my favorites now. Um, it's got a bit of a twist leaf to it. Yucca baccata. This is a three year, three years in our garden plant. It's probably a, a four or five year old plant, but it's, uh, it's doing very well and it's getting a little bit of a trunk to it. Maybe, maybe an inch or so. Very, very hard leaves. Beautiful plant, tough as nails. Yucca haramaniae, grown from seed. It's first year here, we put it here in the spring. Yucca alifolia, again grown from seed. A different source than the other one, which is supposed to be alifolia. This here is alifolia the true form from what I can understand and it's it's uh, actually purpling up a little bit so hopefully it's not under too much stress here it's a drier position than some of the other spots we've had 
Yucca Ilata Utahensis. Um, yeah, it's uh, supposed to become a big plant. Uh, this Utahensis version of the Ilata. We'll see how it does. And this here is Yucca Rupacola. And um, again, it's just a new plant. It uh, got sown this spring. It's much like the Yucca Palita. Uh, the main difference is that uh, this one's supposed to twist more, and these juvenile leaves, you could see, uh, this plant's only the same age as the the uh, palitas that you saw just a moment ago, but uh, this one at a juvenile leaf stage has a twistier leaf, but very similar color and very similar uh, rough edges, uh, serrated edge. That's, there's a much larger seed grown, same age. This one here just must love the conditions here by the, uh, the front of the house. I have over 60 yuccas that are potted. All of the species that have already been mentioned are here, including uh, Thompsoniana, plenty of, of uh, Glauca, um, Ilata, and some Brevifolia. And uh, anyone who's interested in these, I ship bare root or potted in Canada in the Niagara region. I'd be happy to have anyone come on over uh, when I'm home and I can uh, uh, sell or trade and uh, be happy to talk to you. All right, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye.